I changed it. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I thought she was laughing at something that tells what I put her in there. I saw a hound dog go like this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, so I sent a call for her. Oh, oh, welcome man. to Bourbon and Badges, the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Season 6, episode 14. Woo. Rod Nader here, Dobby Dog, Hound Dog, and Slow Rod, I guess, a.k.a. the Wokester. The Wokester. Is yeah, right now you just lost your producer rights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, guys, good to see you guys, and uh, what a day, what a day. Yeah. I need a drink. Uh, so uh, do I. I. So do I. I'll explain that. Explain this to our non-listening side. Underneath our name, you know, we're on YouTube, Slow Ride, and I had Superhero underneath that. And I'm assuming it was Rod. I don't assume. I know it was Rod Nader. We went back to <laughs> change to Wokester. Of course it was. Well, what happened was, when we, we tuned on today, folks, uh, we had our, our usual names on the screen, but then it said title on the bottom, where yeah. you could put something like a title, add a title to your name. So I put the Rantinator, because I go off on freaking rants all the time, so I thought that was appropriate. And Slow, slow, slow Ride put uh, Superhero. Yeah. And I uh, chose to take that and change it to the Wokester because we know he's got unicorn tattooed on his ass and rainbows coming out of his fucking ears. No, above so, his ass. <laughs> above his ass. Is a tramp, yeah. tramp pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's where yeah. you got to. <laughs> well, I or thought you were laughing because you just noticed I put superhero on there. And then I looked. Yeah. I saw Hound Dog do this. I was, and he started laughing. I'm like, you saw her, didn't you? He goes, yep. And then I hear slow ride. Hey, who did that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I funny. thought she was laughing with me. I know, not at you. I'm going with my Woodford Reserve today, guys. I need a drink. It's been a long mm-hmm. day. We all know Woodford. Good stuff. Yep. Yep. What's everybody Please. else got going on? Go ahead, slow. Guess what I'm drinking. You're not speaking smoke maple. Gibson. Don't say Knob Creek. Do Gibson. not. Do not. Well, Dobie Dog's done displaying his Jeffersons. Go ahead, Dobie Dog. Go ahead. Just Jefferson. It's not the um, agency, but just regular Jefferson. There you go. Okay. How about you, He's in your backyard. I'm going to see what, what this handle? damn unicorn that Steve's going to pull up. I'll show you. Well, then you said you ain't been McKenna? showing, then you're going to show yours. While we're doing it for the non-listening, the non-viewing side, yeah, we're showing yeah. up the bourbon we're drinking. Dueling, dueling bourbons. Yeah. We got McKenna. On Hound Dog side. Ten year, right? Ten year. Ten year. And we got, what you got slow, Ezra? Yeah, old Ezra. Uh, eight, seven years, uh, barrel proof, 117 proof. Oh, you're not playing around today. Got like I tell you, well, now. you guys what? were talking about last week, you were drinking that uh, charcoal filter, what, Jack Daniels, was it? Jack Daniels, yeah. Yeah, yep. it's a charcoal filter as well, so it's whiskey, it's not a bourbon. Oh, and cool. I've had it in my archives so long, I had to look up and see everything about it. Uh, depending on where you look, uh, price range 60 to 100 bucks. Oh, okay. okay. 78% corn, 10% rye, 12% malted barley. So if it's charcoal filter, it can't be bourbon, correct? Is that your bur- correct. Uh, what's that? Yeah. If it's yeah. charcoal filtered, it can't be considered bourbon, correct? Right. Correct. <clears throat> yep. Right. Yep. So which? And I know it's Henry McKenna tenure. It's bottled in bonds. So that means it's 100 proof. It's aged 10 years, like it says so right there on the bottle. It's, uh, this one here was actually barreled. Uh, 10, 17, 2012. So it's been in the thing for a while. And I pulled up the, uh, it's, I think we've had this on the show before, Slow, if I'm not mistaken. I oh, think yeah, we have. I don't think so. I'd look back in the book, but, uh, yeah. we have. But I, I pulled we had it up. The studio. Yeah, I pulled it up on my, uh, my computer because it's to get the, uh, uh, mash bill. It's like 78% corn, 15. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna tell you wrong, but I'm gonna look it up. Y'all go ahead. I'm sorry. Thought I had it. How yeah, man. You, back uh, when I, I said back when we had the studio, we still have Studio 77, but it's uh, you know, back in the Gastonia days or Gast County days in North Carolina, we had an actual yeah. studio, Studio 77. Everybody would up here at that one studio and sit down across from each other, which was a lot, a lot better, man. I think we all drink yeah. the same bottle. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Cool. But now we're right. virtual. Studio 77 is virtual. And we're right, so at all I, different locations. Go ahead, Hondo. All right, so I got it pulled up. This is a Heaven Hill product. This company is Heaven Hill. Distillery Heaven Hill release is ongoing. It's 100 proof, aged 10 years. Mash bill is 78% corn, 12% malted barley, and 10% rye. Oh, man, it's pretty close to this thing here, man. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah. And the uh, MSRP, they say it's on. It's about thirty bucks, but I think it's a little bit more than that by now. I think it's probably okay. up around forty or fifty bucks. That's McKenna tenure. Okay. McKenna tenure. Yep. How do you like right, it, man? <clears throat> <clears throat> what do you got to I'll say about? I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Hey, this thing here, Please this. Do. Uh, Please do. This oh, uh, Ezra, it's uh, it's a uh, Lux Road from Lux Road Distilleries. How is it? Really, it? How, how... really pops sweet on the nose. But it's you pick up the charcoal, proof. a little <clears throat> vanilla. I'm waiting for the bite. Yeah, on mine. <clears throat> oh, how slow's tasting that? Go ahead, slow. What you think? It's 117 proof. <laughs> <laughs> Slow's eyebrows just like, stood up. Yeah, on like about ninety themselves. proof. And that's uh, this is a little little heat to it. One seventeen, yep. little heat. Oh, it dried right up though, man. It's really dry on the on the on the finish. Is dry on the finish. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> this is not as high proof as I thought it was. So like, till I got the bottle here at the house, but it's, it's only eighty two. Hmm. No, it's not bad. Well, you know, you are the new guy on the podcast. You got to start out low, you know. And, and yeah, work you are the a man Yeah, yeah. I'm you got to crawl before you walk. I'm just glad I can hear and see and be here. <laughs> yeah, we're glad because you're the. You know what your title should be? The technical difficulties kid. That's what your <laughs> title should fucking be. That would be All perfect. Works. In fact, let me type that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, you've had the worst problems with your with your rig, man. That's crazy. Oh yeah, man. He's he's so new and it's so new to him. We had to drive to Alabama to show where the own button was. <laughs> that that button right there. It, it turns it almost like I'm just glad we have on buttons down here. Yeah. How do you like oh, your yeah. drink, Doby Dog? How do you it's like good. yours? It's good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. I like it. It's okay. it's just the regular Jefferson. It's not the age at sea, but it's it's solid. It's not too bad price. I think it's like forty bucks, maybe. And of course Woodford Reserve is also awesome. it's it's always there. It's not like usually you can find it pretty easy. Yeah. All right, man. We got a lot. A lot. I never liked this same. I'm gonna say we got a lot to unpack tonight, man. A lot going on unpack. in the world. <clears throat> Holy shit! You don't believe you, you got, in our pre-podcast crazy. meeting. It's, we already decided pretty much uh, it's not going my way tonight, is it? No. <laughs> no. We just yeah. you, know, you know, folks. We, we we try to stay true to form, you know. But there's just so many things breaking right now in the uh, in, in our country when it comes to everything's kind of like is being being driven by politics but it's also segueing into some law enforcement things especially with the assassination attempt on trump and everything going on with the investigation uh according to where the shooter was where he was and how many rounds fired when did they notify realize the suspect was there the threat when did it become a threat why did they let trump get on stage a lot of law enforcement things there so we try to keep things kind of mixed but a lot's being driven by this and then the president of the united states who was voted in uh as being the nominee for this year was just shown the door. So 14 million people who voted for him, delegates, just had their nominee put to the side. And they now uh, gave, give most of them to Kamala Harris, who now has enough to be the nominee. So we're going to have mm. to see what happens at their, at their uh, uh, shit show that's coming in about three or four weeks. So just a lot to talk about. And uh, just wanted to touch base on that if you guys want. Um, yeah. As far as the assassination attempt, guys, a lot's going on. Kim Cheadle. Right. The uh, director of the U.S. Secret Service said she was going to she was going to stay in there and fight and find out <laughs> what happened and what was wrong. And I'm not a quitter. And she quit today. No, so, no, well, no, did, no, did you no, see yeah. the hearing? No, no, did you watch no, any no. of the oh. hearing? Hey, oh, yes. hey, hey. Yeah. Good. Good. Bye. Yeah. They didn't, saw they the didn't pull any punches <laughs> on no, that woman at all. The one, the one dude ripped her a new ass and then said, go back to guarding Doritos. I mean, they were yeah. just and it was bipartisan, uh, folks. It was just a yeah, it was crazy. Bipartisan. She was dressed that's, down. That's one of the big things with it, hey. Rod, is it, it was bipartisan. It was everybody. I tell you, exactly. though, they, they, they asked Biden about it, if he had confidence in his CIA, you know, CIA director. He goes, yeah, I have Secret full confidence. Service. Secret yes, service. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I have full confidence in him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, you know, she might identify as a man because these days you never fucking know, you know, so that, that could be. Hey, but Did but, you see what Nancy yeah, May said? Nancy yes. Mace, uh, representative from uh, South Carolina. You're full of shit. You're full of shit. She said you're Bullshit. full of shit. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. You're full of shit. And then, and then, <laughs> and then some, some Boy Scout Democrat goes, we need to have order 
We need yeah. to have I agree with that, man. These are these are hollow halls that these that these people are in. These, this is the one of the highest Dude, you know, courts, a guy if took, you will. A guy took it up the ass. <laughs> I was just about to say that a Democratic <laughs> staffer was bent over in the Senate chamber, taking a hard high one pipe in the old can. But that and you're saying more. it's hollow. He had a hollowed hole, all right. It and got invaded. Can't, and she can't say shit. <laughs> no. Those holes have been desecrated. Desecrated. <laughs> Oh, isn't this fun? This look, is you know, fun. We, we look at these people and they want to, they dress in suits and ties and dresses and they come in and they try to be like, like they're higher than mighty, like a judge yeah. looking down in well, his black no, robe. Right. You, you, you and then, and then they, get standards. In there, they get in there and they just, and they just, when they, when they resort back and they show their true colors, it's just, it kind of makes them human to me. I like it. I like people to show like, instead of always being that's inappropriate. You know, I like people saying that's some bullshit. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm okay with that. It's it's well, it it's, needed to be said. it's it's it honest. Be said. You're right, Dovey. Uh-huh. It didn't need to be said. That, she needed to understand that they weren't going to yeah. put up with that shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. And everybody else is just spoke she just with her. Wouldn't answer. Yeah. She, she would not answer nothing. Yeah, she's the yeah. prototypical guys because you know her her history. I, I read a little bit about it. She was a Secret Service agent for a minute, and then she went and she became head of security over there, at PepsiCo for. Uh, for, for one of their uh, divisions, okay? So she has some experience with security, but then they take her straight from there and they put her at the head of the U.S. Secret Service. Now, the Secret Service does a lot of banking for the, you know, fraud and, 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 and different types of money, money wiring stuff and money laundering, but they are also responsible for protecting our politicians, presidents, ex-presidents, their families for life. Yep. For life, Clinton still has his protection. Jimmy Car- Jimmy Carter's still alive, right? Yeah, he's yeah, still he alive. Is. He's yeah. Yeah, he's hanging on. He's still got it. I mean, everybody who's been a president has Secret Service protection for life. Okay, so these guys got a pretty important job. And the problem with the problem that I saw with it was, and that's coming out now, is the band of fucking misfits that were protecting Trump that day were not his regular crew. He asked for he asked for more on occasion, and there's some. There's some debate on whether he was turned down or not. And the, the thing about it, folks, is Secret Service agents have to, like, give me give me an example. Vladimir Putin has never had a chick guarding him in his entire fucking life. They're always 10-foot-tall Russians that look like the dude on Rocky Five, right? Yeah. Who can smash things that. and pick up, right, to protect yeah. Putin. And they're all bigger than Putin. Why? So they can shield him from bullets. Right. They're called meat shields, okay? It's a, it's a derogatory term a little bit, but the, to shield him, okay? Bullet sponges, whatever you want to say. When he starts to get shot at, and you have a five foot three fat woman trying to hug a six foot three man and cover, cover him for headshots, she can't. I said headshots. Okay, but Ronan, she can't. Ronan, 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 can you say obese, please, not fat? <laughs> Here we go, folks. The wokester. The, the wokester. The wokesters come alive. <laughs> you know, but nothing uh, do that. <laughs> nothing but, do piss them off. So but anyway, do that, Rod. If, you know, I get what Trump did. Well, after after when he stood back up, I get it. I don't have a problem with what he did. But as a Secret Service, they shouldn't allow that. They just said, no, you, your ass is staying on the ground and we're getting you out of here. I get that, too. And you know what I saw? I saw a few interviews. You know how I'm just immersed in this shit. I saw a few interviews. And one of the guys who's been a Secret Service agent for years and is retired, he says, you have to know your client. He said, sure. like, if somebody's, if somebody's guarding me, you're going to get pushback, mm-hmm. even if it's something for my own good. Like, you know, it's for your own good, right? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Well, you know, yeah. I could see... The, because I'm an, I'm, I have an aggressive nature, okay, if you can tell, um, and I'm a little bit uh, a little bit that way. And I could see, you know, they, Trump wasn't getting off that stage until he stuck that fist up. He was gonna he was oh, gonna yeah. do that, yeah. And and the and the and, and the and the agent in front of him, Doby Dog, was uh, a female who was probably five seven. So mm-hmm. she really had no way to cover him. Correct. His head was exposed from from here up was exposed, and I get it. Uh, but um, you're right. That that shouldn't that shouldn't have been allowed to happen. He should have been off the stage quicker. Um, he shouldn't have been on the stage. Let's back up. Yeah, when the threat was recognized. Oh, hello there, Wokester. You're back. Hey, man. I got. I think you only all pulled my plug. <laughs> oh my God, your butt plug. What? But do if it Uh-oh. had been his regular crew, they had a different. Com- <laughs> that was funny, huh, dog? I thought that would make you laugh. Probably had a completely different report. <laughs> well, yeah. I just called it, man. <laughs> okay, you just called it. I missed it. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, Dobby. because. Uh, yeah, you know, well, if it had been his regular crew, they probably had a completely different rapport with him. 
They did, and they and they probably would have had not not only the, the initial crew, but I was just I just you just think it would have been covered better. The water tower, the roof. The, it comes out now that the roof that the shooter was on, uh, on the second floor of the building right behind it, which was five feet behind it, there were uh, law enforcement in that window, and they could see the entire roof where the guy was laying down. Why didn't they see him? And I answer because they left their positions to go look for the threat which was the guy on the roof. They yeah. left their positions, and they started looking around downstairs for him. It was 100 clown fuck. It was, it was, it was totally screwed up. But, and, guys, it's, it's, it's fun to make fun of it and point it out, but somebody could have been killed. The, it, the entire nation. Somebody was nation. killed. Yeah, somebody was right. killed. Well, touche. Yeah, exactly right. I stand corrected. Somebody was killed. What I'm saying, a president nominee, uh, future president, could have been killed, and this country could have been turned upside down. Oh, yeah. If that was to happen, guys, who oh, who cool. knows where we'd be right now if there was a funeral now? Uh, just had a funeral a couple of days ago. Um, it, it's 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 just unbelievable. <clears throat> and then I, I ask you guys this question: If you guys follow it, okay? Do you think I say it's one of three things? And I don't think anybody can argue with me. One hundred percent total incompetence. Two, it was deliberate incompetence meaning they knew there were areas that should have been covered and then didn't or three was it 100 percent an inside job and what was it is iran that wanted to, that's talking about assassinating iran Trump? iran yeah. had a death threat to him just a little bit before then too and it, it, don't you find that interesting yeah. Seth, that iran has a death threat against trump who's running for president as opposed to the actual president of the united states that right well they gave something right there yeah, right. they don't want him because also he took out Soleimani, their top general, who was killing. Oh yeah, American they soldiers. they know he gets back in power. He drove the, he drove the fuck out. Things are going to change. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'll be honest right. with you, I think is a combination of two and three. Okay, so you think it's deliberate? I mean by that, the, deliberate incompetence and and also somebody else comes so in. So you think it's fine? Allow somebody else to do what they want to do. <laughs> you added that's so good, Wokester. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm the producer, so you know I, yeah, I got that's true. Here. <laughs> that's true. You got a calculator. No, I I, I agree. I mean, it's just. You know, because let, let's get let's get honest, guys. They killed Kennedy, right? And we still don't know who did that, but we know it was the government was involved. Kennedy, I right? Mean, we yeah. just know that it's involved. And the reason they're not releasing the information on the Kennedy assassination because is because the government was involved. involved. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. you know, it's not it's not a far cry to know that they did again because billions and I'd say trillions of dollars, the globalists, the uh, environmentalists, um, everybody, nobody wants Trump in office again to make right. America what it used to be and strong again. They want America to come right along and fall in line with everything else. And that's just a lot of money. There's just a lot of money to be lost when he comes in and takes us out of the Green New Deal shit. He takes yeah. us out of the uh, UN. He takes yeah, us out of all these globally, things. Globally, but you know, nationally, we prosper from it. Yeah. And that, oh, we yeah. Shouldn't care, well, we shouldn't give a shit about a anybody better. else. I mean, seriously, you, you, you can hate Republicans, you can hate Trump. You right. know, it's one thing about Trump. You know, I can see him. You know, that's him. By God, I'm stepping here and I'm gonna say something to these people before I leave the stage. That's right. who he is. Yeah. And that's one of his downfalls is. You know, he gets out there and he tweets all his own stuff. He don't, he don't have the people that's empowered to do that. That's in, you know that <clears throat> that are schooled to do that. He won't let them do it. Mm -hmm. He does it himself. Right, right. right I've right. never seen a candidate singled out so much. For a witch hunt, do they come after and come after? He's right. not a what politician. He don't play their that games. He's a businessman. He, he ran the country as a business. And you're he right, cannot Steve. be bought. Sorry. And he cannot be bought slow. He's a billionaire. The money oh, doesn't yeah. matter. It's like he six six point seven billion dollars. Yeah, Conor yeah. McGregor, the, the the MMA fighter, said it best in his old Irish accent. He said he could be on a yacht, fishing, enjoying his life, but instead he's out there spitting bullets out of his mouth, fighting for his country. Conor McGregor's yeah. all, he's an Irish he guy. He's from Ireland, but he's all in for Trump. Like he, hey, do oh, you yeah. guys listen to Sky News, Australia? Uh, every now and then, yeah, I do. Boy, you got to listen to that. They have one thing in there called, called lefties losing it. Oh, it's oh, so really? funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, 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 no, and it's sad we have to go to Australia. I watch a lot of the Sky News Australia to, to get a unbiased reporting of the United States. Yeah. Yep, you're right. I, is, I watch it, that. Is, is, is it unbiased, though? Because I, I heard some Australian news and – they hammer, uh, they're hammering uh, Trump over there. A lot of people. I got a lot, a lot of woke people well, over there hammering Trump. If the ones that I watched and it was Sky News, it was. I mean, they, they Are call they it like it. They call it like they see it. They, balls yeah. and strikes. They're not. They're not yeah. making shit up. Okay. Right. I like well, that. Other than that, the, they do have that one segment called Lefties <laughs> Losing, it, and then yeah. of course it's all the uh, right. really woke, you know, leftist people. Right. I mean, they right. spent. But they're 30, spot they on. Spent... They're exactly one hundred percent right. You got to watch it. 
Oh, they spent okay. 30 minutes at the one that I watched of the, the anchor, female anchor that was talking, dissecting what Biden was trying to say at a damn press conference. What right. he couldn't get out. I mean, she right. was like, "What? I, I don't, I don't get this. I don't understand what he's saying. Does he even know what he's saying? I don't, wow. I don't." Get I did this. see, I did see that one slow. I mean, I'm yeah. Kind of, yeah, I see that too. So yeah, man. Like, what's he saying? He don't know. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, the like, thing I, is, it got so right. bad, and the public realized it was so apparently obvious they couldn't hide it anymore. Right. They had and, to do something to get somebody else in there because they knew he was going to lose. And they got caught with right. their pants down. Right, and think about Again. this, guys. Think about this, because you just you just reminded me of something. Don't go. <clears throat> Why? Answer me this question. Think about it before you answer. Why did the people closest to Biden, who knew he's a fucking going bananas in his head, dementia, whatever, Parkinson's, whatever? Why did they allow him to debate Trump in June? And I answer. Because, and I answer. They wanted it known. Right. They wanted yeah. everybody to see him in his state so they could get to this point where they could get rid of him yeah. with the threat of the 25th amendment, which is what they can use to get him out because of mental capability. Mm -hmm. But the threat of it made him, made him bow out so he could keep his legacy of, as not being a crazy dude who had to get taken out with I, the 25th amendment. That's what and I you know, And you know, Rod Nader, I think that that was the plan from day one of his presidency. It, it, they, it might, knew, right. they knew that he was, he was losing it, so to speak. For with dementia or whatever the hell he's right. got, and they said, "Well, how, what can we do to get this black female in as president?" Right, but let me let me let me get a little bit more devious than that. I think they would have dragged him across the finish line again if they were able to control him and hide it. But since they couldn't hide it anymore, they right. had to get him out of there, and that's why they had the debate in June. So they had time to get rid of him and get Kamala. And the reason they're going with Kamala, they hate Kamala. They don't mm -hmm. want Kamala Harris. She's a moron. She's an idiot. She has no business being there. But the right. reason is because they can't overlook what they call a black woman, even though Kamala's father's Jamaican and her mother's Indian, dot Indian, not feather Indian, dot Indian. So she's a <laughs> Jamaican Indian heritage. She's not African-American. That's the truth. Sorry. She might identify as black. That's cool. But she yeah, is dang. Jamaican father, Indian, dot mother. So anyway... But they can't overlook her. If they do, they'll lose a whole section of their lefties. If they take a black woman that they think is black out of it, they yeah. can't. So my devious thing, Hound Dog, is this. I think they put her in there, and I think they know she's going to lose, but she'll lose, and they'll get her out of the way. And then after four years, Trump will be out of the way, and then they can start fresh again without losing their base and without losing uh, the people – uh, in their in their uh, in their in their base, the yeah. their lefties. I think you're spot on because they know if they kick her to the curb, say, so, well, you know, you can't, you we're not going to make you the nominee. Oh my God, yeah. After she's been VP mm -hmm. for four years, yep. You know how much of, how much outcry that would be. Yep. How much of a problem with the voters? See, I mean, they, I, 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 I'd, I'd, I'd argue the difference. I think I think that's the best game they've got right now, and that's the only card they can play. Let, let, why, why get the mic? Let me say this. I apologize on the video side. I keep popping out. I don't know why. I've got to get back with our Producer. platform and find <laughs> out what's going part. on with it. Yeah, it's aggravating. Part, it's aggravating. They but uh, they don't. They're going to catch hell. Right, and and yeah. they can't leave her in the vice president position and put another white guy in front of her because people will raise hell. Why aren't you just elevating the black woman? Why are you yeah. prejudiced? Why are you je why are you misogynistic? All the nice words will come out. They have to run her. And plus this, guys, I don't think uh, Obama or any of these other people want to run against Trump because he looks like he's unbeatable. So right. why would somebody want to run against Trump right now when he's so popular and get beat? Why not save your <clears throat> ammunition for 2028 when he's gone? So you already know you lost a game. Let's put like. a second string in and get them. Yep. yep. I think they already know. Now, if they can pull it out and win and, and, and trick out the election again and ballot stuff and all this. Who knows what can happen because 2020, let me tell you this, guys. Do you think they really got rid of the guy who got 81 million votes in 2020? If he really got 81 million votes, 81 million people voted for that dude in, in 2020. Do you think they really would get rid of him or would they ride him no. to the end because they figure 81 million people will vote for him again? Yeah, correct. Exactly. He didn't get 81 million. <laughs> You're right. He didn't. <clears throat> why, would you, why would you get rid of a winning well, pony, right? Shit. But I do think 100%. Well, that going into that debate, the people around him, his cabinet, 
all his people around him. They all knew him, Doby. They all they knew, knew him. that was going to happen, and it was way of, okay, shuffle him out to the side. But well, yeah, you also got to realize the powers behind him, they're pulling the strings. They're running the show. Mm-hmm. And they don't want to lose their power. Absolutely. The elite, as long as they could control him, it's fine. But when the American people started seeing him for what he really was, they were losing the narrative. And then at some point, they said, listen, you need to debate. Who's going to tell him to debate Trump? Like, that's the most yeah. – the be- I thought he would never be on a debate stage, guys, and they would just make an excuse that he didn't want to debate a, a convicted felon. They would say some kind of stupid shit, right? right? To get him to be able to avoid the debate and avoid being on TV <clears throat> live. Right. Uncontrollable. Okay. Uncontrollable. And that's what destroyed him, guys, because the day after they started going, he's lost it. That's Man. the day after George Clooney wrote the letter. Uh, I loved uh, – so with, with a sad heart – Unfortunately, the Joe Biden you saw at the debate is the same Joe Biden right. at the fundraiser. We need to have him replaced. I mean, everybody turned on him after that debate. But right before that was when they had the fundraiser and Clooney was cool with him. That's exactly right. They knew it was inevitable that eventually it would be seen and they couldn't control him because of Obama so had to, Obama had to tap so him. Bad. Remember him? Take him off the stage. He had to tap him on the arm and escort him off the stage. He had to right, so, around him. Yeah. So I'll what we're you. saying with uh, Clooney and Obama – they run the Democratic Party. They are obviously they right. run it. They Clooney's, are the bosses. Clooney's one of the biggest fundraisers for the Democratic yeah, the Party. Is, year Clooney's after a year. good actor. Obama's not. Right. But and Obama. Is, go ahead. Uh, Kamala Harris. She, she's she done her first. Uh, she's out on her own today for the first time. Right. And her platform was her being a prosecutor. And Trump being a convicted being a felon. felon. Right. Yeah. She's used to prosecuting felons, and she knows Trump, so she can. That's her. That's her little her little niche right now. I'll no, tell you this what, though. That's, that's what they're going to base it on. Yeah, I like I like to see what her win loss record was as a prosecutor. Well, she put thousands of black guys in jail for weed using Joe Biden's criminal thing, a criminal uh, law that he got passed yeah. back in the day. Uh, so she put a lot of people, and she joked about. Uh, putting people in jail for weed, even though she smoked weed herself. She's got a lot of baggage, dude. She's just got a lot, a lot of baggage. But what I did want to say, one last thing, guys. She's been endorsed by a lot of folks, like the uh, Clintons just endorsed her, which means probably Hillary's not going to, you know what I'm saying? And all, the one person who has not endorsed her yet Obama. is Barack Obama. He has not endorsed her yet. So I don't know, Big Mike's, I mean, excuse me, Michelle is thinking about getting into this thing. That's but, what I wonder. Yeah. I, I just, I just, I just want to tell you, Barack Obama has not endorsed Kamala Harris. The regular other elites have. I don't think Hakeem Jeffries has either yet, which is the, the minority speaker. Um, but um, Chuck Schumer did, Clinton did, Biden did. So like everybody's starting to come out, and she has enough delegates now, guys. I don't know if you pay attention, but she has enough delegates through phone calls that she's already the no- has enough to be the nominee as long as nobody at their convention can eclipse her or gets a lot. So, and all we're waiting for right now, guys, is VP. And I'm hearing it could be Cooper of North Carolina, Shapiro God, of Pennsylvania, so she can win idiot. Pennsylvania, or Bashir. Uh, Bashir's another guy. Those are the ones I'm hearing. But. And there's well, a if, female governor out of... Whitmer. Ma- Whitmer. Wisconsin, or maybe? No, it's Michigan. Whitmer. Michigan, governor Michigan. Whitmer. Yeah, the crazy, the crazy lady who said she was kidnapped. I think he was all of a sudden like, he's not in it. No, like no, he's, he's not, not like right. He's right. not supporting her like they thought. Right. But anyway, guys. So, any any last thoughts on that? What do you think? Yeah, uh, I do have a, a same topic, different, different topic, same same area. When you, if y'all ready for that? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you brought the twenty fifth amendment. So if you know the twenty fifth amendment was uh, empowered or, or brought uh, to the bill, I don't, gosh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. If the 25th Amendment was, was, was go ahead and voted on and they were going to use the 25th Amendment to remove Biden, is probably what you're trying to say. Yeah, what you're I mean, saying? yeah we lost town on that kind of threw me for a loop. He's back. Good deal. Yep. Yeah, uh, I don't know what's going on with the program tonight, guys. Just uh, if you're on the video side of it, just bear with us. You get what you pay for. Yeah. So. Can you hear me? But yeah, the, a, lot, a lot of uh, background noise in you, like a fan or something going. Yeah, the thing about the 25th Amendment, if you can use that to uh, remove you know, him. Yeah, the thing about it is, if he's not going to run, if he's not fit to run again for another another four years, is he fit to run the country now? Right. Well, they didn't. They didn't have to use the twenty fifth amendment when you when you blacked no, out. What, we, what I'm they, saying uh, is, yeah, they should use twenty fifth amendment now to remove him from office. Right, but they're not gonna because they want to keep him in power um, through the end till Kamala comes in. You know, 
and they threatened yeah. him with the well what they did was slow we think they threatened him with the 25th amendment say you either resign out you, you quit or we're going to take you out with the 25th amendment when he decided to step down peacefully they decided not to use the 25th amendment and i think that's why they're not using it now well here's, I mean, it, here's the thing if, if you don't know what the 25th amendment is it's proposed by Congress and ratified by the states following the 25th Amendment uh, provides that uh, procedure for replacing the president or vice president in case of death, removal, resignation, or in uh, competency. Incompetency, right. Which Here's would be question. his. Yeah. yeah. And, and I agree with whether he is fit to run the, run the country. I totally 100% agree He's with that. He's not, him. right. But here's my question. If he is removed between now and the time of the election, what kind of damage can Kamala do in that time period? Executive True. orders, etc. True. Is it to me? I mean, I'm not saying yeah, that's a good stay, point, but it's, but it's also it's like the lesser of two evils, two edged sword. I mean, which one do you want? Neither one of them are good. I think Joe Biden has done all the damage he's going to do. Uh, I don't think there's much he can do. The only thing he's going to do before he leaves office, I think, is pardon his son and his brother and anybody else in his family who's even under investigation. I think that's going to happen. I well, think he's got Kamala lose, right? will try to make a name for herself. Who's that? What'd you say, Dobie Dog? I think Kamala, if she's in there, if Biden were to come out and Kamala would go go in there, she would try to make a name for herself. Yeah, maybe. Could be. And say, look what I did and to get her herself, try to get herself elected. Right. 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 Wow. Craziness, guys. Right. I mean, this is this is some this is some you know, what what a time to be alive. Think about it. Uh what you know, are you doing, is... Hound Dog? Well, all right. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys, but my <laughs> blind and deaf dog got his head caught underneath my damn chair. Now, he, he can't see or hear anything. And he couldn't I had to get, get him out. out. Yeah, help him. I, I, he couldn't get out. I had to help him out of the chair. <laughs> From underneath the yeah, chair. Yeah, so if you're on the audio, si audio side of this, go to YouTube and watch this. Like just... <laughs> hey, hey, th uh, hey, listen. Damn. Listen. listen I usually thought it was we... show and tell for a minute. <laughs> usually we piss off. Usually we piss off Peter, but they'd be happy to know you helped out your blind deaf dog. So yeah, you no doubt. We get brownie points tonight. Yeah, you get brownie. Uh, we're gonna get a plus tonight. He's saving Lord. turtles and his dog. All the same. <laughs> oh, we ain't That's even it. got to the turtles yet. <laughs> oh yeah. We should open with that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But anyway, so. Here we go. We'll see what happens, guys. Uh, I guess uh, we spent enough time on this. Uh, well, we, 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 we went very fast from the Trump attempt assassination to all this mess. I do want to ask right. you guys a question. Go ahead. Conspiracy theory. Do you, do you think that the government was behind Trump's thing? <clears throat> attempt assassination. I, I, I already said it, it's one of three things. Incompetence, deliberate incompetence, or in on it. And there's a, there's, a, there's a few things there's a few things on the side that I see that I'm not going to mention just yet because it's not it's not it's not verified yet. But I'll tell you this: I know they killed Kennedy. It had something to do with Kennedy, so they could take a shot at Trump. So it's very possible. Speaking of that, Rod, um, I got off on a conspiracy movie kick this <laughs> weekend. So I watched Shooter with Mark Wahlberg, which made that kind of makes you love that movie. Yeah, love pretty that good movie. movie. Love that movie. Then I watched the old JFK movie with Costner. Right. And a lot of this stuff, that guy, Garrison, did reopen the case and put the guy on trial and so on and so on. But there's a scene in that movie, and it makes a whole lot of sense. Joe Pesci is finally getting caught on the carpet, and he's being interviewed by um, Kevin Costner after everything's come to light that he's, he's saying it's a conspiracy theory. And his comment was, and, and kind of put it in a nutshell, was, who's pulling whose strings? Who who shot? Who did Kennedy? Who did this or that? Nobody knows because it's so it's so entangled and so many different players and so many people involved way up to the top. And it goes on later on to interview a guy who was actually played by Donald Sutherland. And it's all this goes back to if Kennedy pulling out troops from Vietnam, how much money was going to be lost by the government, sure. the helicopter, and all these people for Vietnam. Yeah. That's when yeah. the war got upgraded with Johnson. So right. it's, the whole thing was, who is involved? Nobody knows because there's so many people. It's so entangled, and you don't know, but it's so many people. Let me let me get on to that because also Kennedy's thing was also with the Cuban Missile Crisis. Correct. Everything that the assassination of Kennedy yep. was around war and sh and war shit. Right now, Ukraine war. Right now, the Israeli uh, Hamas thing. There's a war machine right now, especially Ukraine and Russia, that Trump's going to stop immediately. 
was Kennedy that, was going to Ke- right the the war machine is going to be the industrial complex is going to be not running like it is right now and the money's not going to be coming uh, there's just there's just a lot of similarities to the atmosphere now than there was then with when it comes to war and violence overseas, you know, with the right. Cuban Missile Crisis and the Vietnam War mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So a lot of that all, I, I agree with you. I, <coughs> that's it. It's money. Tr- it's trillions, guys. It's trillions with a T. Yeah, exactly. Hound Dog, what do you think? You think you agree or no? Well, you know, I don't want to believe that our government had a hand in trying to kill a uh, former president, but it would not surprise me. Do you think they you know? think they do you think they had a hand in Kennedy's? <clears throat> yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, you do you absolutely. do believe the government? Yes, yeah, they're very capable. Yeah, I, I believe they're cap- capable okay. of doing it. Yeah. But I, ho- yeah. I I don't want to think that they yeah. that they will do that in these days and times we have now. When they well, know the let, country is so damn divided yeah. as it is. Oh yeah, let me ask you this. Slow cuz to answer your question, I'll, I'll, I'll ask you another question. Why is it that when they have people come up and to answer questions and testify under subpoena, and some people just don't come. They're subpoenaed and don't come, and nothing happens to them. Yeah, you know, why, 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 why don't they get arrested like Peter Navarro did when he yeah, exactly disobeyed right. the subpoena? Yeah. Or when yeah. Steve Bannon disobeyed the subpoena? He's in jail right now, Steve Bannon. Peter Navarro just got out. Yet, Mayorkas and all these other people who just... You know who was supposed to testify today? Christopher Ray of the FBI. He said, I'm not coming. So now they're going to have to subpoena him. He could probably say no to that, too. Who's going to arrest him? The Justice Department under Biden? Merrick Garland? Merrick Garland doesn't arrest Democrats. Yeah. He, name a Democrat that's in jail for uh, disobeying a subpoena. No, Nobody. you're exactly right. You're exactly Zero. right. Zero. Who yeah. was Obama's uh, uh, guy? Uh, who's the light-skinned black dude uh, who was in charge of Fast and the Furious? Uh, what's his name? His, uh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. He disobeyed a subpoena. Fast and Furious was a gun-running program where the United States got caught uh, running guns and got uh, an officer killed on the border. And when they traced the gun, it came back to our, it was our guns that was already supposed to be in our possession. Somehow it got transferred oh, yeah, over yeah. the Mexican border. Fast yeah, and the Furious. Yeah. Uh, Kerry, Terry was the officer's name. Last name was Terry, was murdered. Um, and they, were, they, were, they subpoenaed Obama's guy. He's a light-skinned black dude with a little Hitler mustache. What's his name? Damn, I'm drawing a blank. Um, but he was subpoenaed. He diso- disobeyed the p- subpoena. Obama said, that's okay. Justice yeah. Department didn't do nothing. He didn't go to jail. The only people who do it, I'm telling you, was the Republicans. And, the, and you know what they were subpoenaed for? The guys who went to jail? January 6th investigation. The insurrection. Exactly right. It was right. Bannon and Navarro. So, of course, they're going to play that game. And they, they wanted mm-hmm. them to turn on Trump. And they wanted to try to put him in prison for shit he didn't do. And they said they're not going to turn on him. They're not going to make up false lies. And they went and spent months in prison. These are 70 and 80 year old guys, dude. Went to prison. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I got off on a rabbit hole. Big rabbit hole. Love you rabbit holes. It was nice down there. It was too, cozy right? down there. The rabbit hole. <laughs> I love a rabbit hole, motherfucker. Go back to all this, this border stuff and, and the election and everything. You know, one of the hot topics is the border. But mm-hmm. the people that are coming in, how much is that time law enforcement hands? How much is that doing to law enforcement in general with the murders, the robberies, the fentanyl, everything? It all goes back, and it yeah. when it starts coming to boots on the ground level, oh yeah, it's, it's these oh, yeah. it's these well, it's, I tell the you, the problem is these sleeper sales. Career thugs yeah. from Venezuela. Yeah, think if you were a cop and on along the border. I, I hear what you said, so I'm gonna I'll come into that. Think of the cops yeah. on the border having to deal with all these people just flowing in. You, you know, I used to know my people in my neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? You know the knuckleheads. You know the guys. Mm-hmm. How about seeing new fucking faces every single day? And they, oh, and they yeah. disappear. Tattooed. Then they yeah. just disappear. They're there. Then them. they disappear. Or they say, yeah, some, some, Sp- some Mexican dude with tattoos. And there's a, there's a fucking hundred new ones. Like, which one? Like, how do you stop? You don't. And that's why there's people getting kidnapped, raped, murdered. It's, it's, and... Just to let you know, it was either Nicaragua or one of those South American countries. Their crime is down 72%. Trump pointed this out. You know why? Because their fucking criminals were sent up here. Oh, yeah. The you criminals right. left. Cuba yeah. done the yeah. same yeah. thing yeah. back during their crisis. When everybody yeah, left, right. they, they, emptied right. their, they emptied their, exact, their prisons. They emptied their prisons. Yeah. That's it what is. Scarface, the movie Scarface. Yeah, Tony exactly. Montana. Tony Montana. He came from Cuba, right? Yeah. Into the United my States. Little friend. Hello to my little friend. And you know, yeah. too, he was, uh, that was that story. It's... 
It's China. It's every damn where else. Oh, oh, it's everybody, yeah. But I'm just yeah. saying, imagine being a cop and having to patrol streets to see new people every day. Just guys with backpacks, 20 of them walking down the street. What do you do? You stop trying to talk to them? They only speak Spanish, or they keep walking. What are you going to do? Mm-hmm. Nothing. Because these, you know, these, the manpower, these, these, these small towns. towns are catching hell. They get, y'all make, and, y'all they, make me drink. They, oh, I know. And the farmers who have these ranches, when they cross the ranches, and they're 80-year-old 80 80 year old farmers down there, they, they, they're trying to protect their wives. I mean, one... It's, it's, it's insane, guys. It's insane. I've seen yeah. him interviewed. Imagine being a farmer with a bunch of land and you just have a, a constant migrant like chain coming through your land. How do you approach them? How do you tell them to get off your land? What do you do? Landmines. You know? You know? And then you go to jail <clears throat> because you just did something to an immigrant with this, with this woke freaking administration. You know? Mm. They put 80-year-old people in jail. Americans. Let you the fence. But they yeah. won't put them in Let jail. Let the wall. Nope. They won't. Exactly right. But anyway... Yep. So, uh, but anyway, to say the least, that, that there's a po- distinct possibility there was some deliberate negligence, slow, or they were, or they were in on it from the start. I absolutely think that's a possibility. And here's one thing that sticks in my mind. I understand that. Can't, I, I can't. I keep forgetting her name, but the, the lady that was over Secret Service, Kim Cheadle. Yeah, Cheadle. I know she's not going to answer questions. And I know a piece to that puzzle is that she's not wanting to implement herself. Implicate, right? However, I think there's part of the a big chunk of that is she don't want to implicate a lot of people above her. Yeah, they she, they said, do you know how many shell casings were found on the roof next to the suspect? She said yes. They said how many? She goes, I refer refer you to the FBI investigation. That's not what I asked yeah. you. You said you knew how many casings there were. I'm asking you how many. Why would you not tell me how many casings? And she said, what are you? This this is the senator or the congressperson. What are you leaned into it? What are you covering up? Yeah. What, know, what, what is this cover up? You know as well as I do, having been on shooting scenes and you deal with the media and you get in these, the media comes to talk to you as a supervisor or as an officer and you, you have to tell them it's an ongoing investigation. Get it. Sure. But right. when you're well, the about Secret is, Service and a right. joint bipartisan <clears throat> committee is asking you questions you better come you better tell the truth you you come you have, have absolute power over the person they're interviewing absolute right, power right, right yeah and and she has no she has no worry about being yeah, no, no, jail there, or yeah there's no recourse for me no there's no recourse for her. so and this is this is 10 days after i'm just last thing this is 10 days after it happened you think the assassination of a past president probably the future president attempt would it would have an investigation that had a little bit more results by this time it's been 10 days They've been out there looking around, and there mm-hmm. should be some kind of after-action report, at the very least, that she could come and speak intelligently to the damn house. And two, well, let's put this on our level. And two, you and all, these, you know, all of us have worked major events. Right. Sure. And right. you as a captain, yeah, I work in major events, and the, the part of the event that I'm over as a sergeant and my guys, we get a car in there, and a the car runs over a bunch of people. You come to me as a, a captain and a sergeant, hey, what the hell just happened? I'm like, eh. I ain't saying exactly right. That that wouldn't happen. You wouldn't give me. Oh, you're exactly right. Uh, you fucking ain't right. You wouldn't. <laughs> Holy shit! No, uh, I need answers. You know, yeah, I, that, I don't want answers. That's that's the thing. You know, I, I held my people accountable because I'm held accountable. That's exactly and right. On yeah. up the line, and this doesn't happen in this. This is the DIA. This is a DEI heaven. They there's nobody responsible. Nobody got fired for Afghanistan withdrawal. Remember that when 13 oh, oh, servicemen yeah. were killed. <clears throat> nobody yeah. got fired for that. Nobody got. Let well, Biden position. said no search man died under his watch. I know only thirteen that he forgot about. We, I, I bet you the Gold Star families got upset about that shit. Oh, they did get upset about at his watch. It. Yeah, look at his watch. Wait for go. Uh, this is just a mess, guys. It's a mess. It's a mess. Well, on a lighter note, if you know anything about Gastonia, especially uh, the uh, when Hound Dog and I started out in Gastonia, you walked the beat downtown at night, and downtown Gastonia then was nothing but abandoned buildings. Bondsmen and lawyers, and that's what it was just a you know, homeless people would be hanging out there and stuff, and you had to walk the beat every night. Sure. Right. Yep. yep. Fast Don't forward. Tell that to uh, now. Well, I tell you, fast forward though, when you know, as a sergeant, my guys would screw up. You know, I, I, was, on night, I was on night shift. And one of the guys grew up. I, the what? Is he talking about us? I think so. No. I think he is. No, I didn't put you. Know, I, I put him down walking. These, I said, you know what? <laughs> what you're doing is for the next week. Park your car. You, I'm gonna drop you off. You can walk the beat. Mm-hmm. And that was great punishment. Man, the guys they hated it, and then along come they, 
Yeah, they they redone downtown, put the bars in, they put the restaurants in. Then man, lo- lo- lost my punishment. Yeah, they lost. They're begging me. Hey, hey, Sarge, can I can I do work downtown? What, what to the beat uh, downtown tonight? Oh yeah. oh yeah. I think that was Doby Dog and Hound Dog. He was talking about. I think it was too. It might have been. You guys seem you guys appear to be punished a lot in your days. I just have a feeling. Yeah. Same with our job. Yeah. And still, and look, we're still being punished. <laughs> still being punished. Yeah, you still get yeah, put you in the corner. Yeah. You are welcome. You are welcome. But uh, any last comments on either one, assassination or the uh, the president resigning, and we we got a whole new candidate right. in there. Well, Rod, let me ask you. Let me ask you, Rod. What do you think? What, what's about? your about the uh, assassination attempt? Like you said, was oh. it the three things that you say? One, one. I thought, I thought one, one hundred is one hundred is complete incompetence, which I don't believe because I think they know their job. Right. Um, two, deliberate incompetence. Okay, okay. leaving that leaving that building uncovered. There's nobody on the roof. Just everything. Seeing the, seeing this kid walking around with a with a range finder. For fifty seven minutes before. Right, right, and then letting Trump take the stage. That's deliberate incompetence to me. If, yeah. if they, you know. Or they were in on it, or there was some kind of direct tie there. Because, I, like I said, there's other things coming over the, not the dark web necessarily, but off channels, <clears throat> not mainstream media. There's other things being said that are being discovered that haven't been put out yet, and I want to make sure they get confirmed before I mention them. Mm-hmm. But this, okay. the shooter, a 20 year old guy, didn't out didn't outsmart the Secret Service. Right. A 20 year old weirdo, who has no yeah. tactics, whacked out weirdo, whatsoever. did not right, did not outsmart the Secret Service. They let him outsmart them, or they, well, you know, yeah. That's, wonder, that's what the la- wonder what the last thing was went through his mind. Uh, copper, uh, copper with yeah. his mind. Yeah, fifty millimeter. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, hey, a a yeah, three hundred eight or a two two five or a five five six, whatever it is. You know, <laughs> they, 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 they were viewing one of the attendants. Says, "Yes, we was watching the whole time, man. We see him fire a couple of rounds off, and his head exploded." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. A couple yeah. things that that this that. that I think one one is um, why were there no drones? How much manpower does that take? Well, now, now, Doby, yesterday in the uh, congressional hearing, they said that they were overwatched. There's overwatch, which means there was no. There should have been. There should have been no, overwatch. No, there she wasn't. said she said there was overwatch. She said we Did had overwatch. What the, type of uh, what type of system was Overwatch? I don't know. She didn't say. She Number said we two. had Overwatch and Overwatch oh, yeah. didn't. Well, uh, the director also it. said somebody with a range finder at one of these events is not a big deal. Yeah, she's a dumbass. Yeah. She's, she's wow, a she's a dumbass. dumbass. Yeah. yeah. The number two. But she is, did say that they had Overwatch. Okay, well, good. I've come, yeah. come and we kind of touched about this a couple weeks ago, but this sticks in my mind the drone because we got volunteer fire departments in Gaston County that have drones. Number two. The phone that has just been kind of dropped to the wayside. Very little. Right. Why is that not? If the kid truly was acting on his own, why didn't you come out and say we cracked the phone? There was nothing on it. This is nothing. And they, well, just did, did you, you just re, were just reminded me he had two encrypted accounts overseas. Yeah. Two oh, really? encrypted. Two encrypted accounts overseas. Hmm. I think he's a bad twenty year old loser. Twenty year old loser. And they keep yeah. showing his eighth grade picture, guys. You yeah. know what his picture shows right now? He looks like he wants to be non binary. He has long oh, hair. Yeah. yeah. But they keep showing his eighth grade picture like they always freaking do. Yeah. You know, they show a killer with his uh high, in his high school football uniform or his middle school when he was a nice little kid, not right. the one where he's posing with a Mac ten with 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 money and all this other shit on his face. Well, you guys know that through our, through our own departments, our own investigations. Every time that we had a bad guy that that offered shoot, they throw his show us like his third, his eighth grade picture as opposed to his thug yeah. pictures. Exactly. Yeah. That's like exactly. when I was for a brief period, I was a probation officer in Charlotte, and you go in and this this guy was on probation for selling crack back in mid nineties. Selling crack was the thing. Open open street markets and all open air sales and all that stuff. And they would go in there. You go into court because you're going to try to get their probation revoked. And he showed up dirty. He hadn't come in, not paying his money, doing not doing anything he's supposed to do. And he got a new charge, something for selling dope. And he's a career doper. And mm-hmm. your attorney says, "Well, he was a good kid in high school. He played football. <laughs> I love that. He did this. I love that. His yeah, mama he loved him. Football. I don't yeah. give a shit if he played football. Yeah. He's out there yeah. selling crack. And I had one yeah. time. This was kind of stood out in my mind." 
this little lady, she was a public defender in Charlotte. She kind of looked like Diana Ross. So, I mean, she still had the, I mean, her, she was, but she goes in there and she starts telling, we had a traveling Superior Court judge from the mountains. And he had went to BMI, and he was like a mountain judge. He come in, and she starts giving this long speech about how he was a good guy, he played football, blah, 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 blah. He looks at her and says, um, ma'am, can you turn around and face the court? She said, yes, sir. Yes, Your Honor. She turned around and face the court. Now, can you apologize to, to the people in the audience for even asking that question? Probation revoked. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, well, good deal. Yeah, we need, we need more like that. Yeah, yeah, that well, guys, I will tell you, there's one, there's one thing the four of us have in common. About 6 a.m. in tomorrow morning. FBI, open up! <laughs> that is true. Quite yeah. possible. Oh, we yeah. might be putting a YouTube uh, jail. Who knows? And you too. Again. Going back Again. to what, what Sloan's is okay. showing. It's sad that that the FBI and y'all have done this, but they got they can't hit a house before a certain hour. Mm-hmm. They got to have blue lights because they'll say they're getting robbed. It's, just, it's sad that it's got to that mm-hmm. point. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a that sound, but right there. Mm-hmm. That is. That, you should have ah, a button for shit. that damn thing. Mm-hmm. Like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, that's right, that man. A... You guys are dying off. Let's, we, we got ten more minutes. We can't. We you, no. I got. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Now. You ready? You ready? So let me ask you a question. I'm ready for the turtle story. Let me ask you a question. Oh, yeah. Tell the turtle story, Rich. I don't know. Oh. Oh, got, now boy. set the stage. You got to set it up. The, uh, you got to set up. People don't know what we're talking audio about. audio and video side, both. You got to set okay. the stage up. All right. It's the turtle stage. So I'm working at the beach <clears throat> today, and we have a turtle, turtle patrol on the beach. What is the official name for turtle patrol? Turtle patrol. Okay. TP Incorporated. <laughs> yep, yep. And they have full 100% say-so in what can go on and off the beach. Now, why is there a turtle patrol? Because turtles cannot, for tens of thousands of years, turtles have been coming out of the ocean, <laughs> up on the damn banks, laying eggs. He's going, being sarcastic, people. Going Go back ahead. going back to the ocean. <laughs> and when their little eggs, the hatchlings hatch, they get out and crawl to the ocean. Well, these damn turtles nowadays, they must be Democrats because they can't find a fucking ocean for shit. <laughs> they, they need have, help. They, they need, need protection. Help. They do. They, they need protection. They need them. Well, they've got uh, rights. <clears throat> they need, you're right. They got rights. They have to have these trenches dug so yeah. they can funnel them to the beach. Funnel them to the ocean so they can find their way. The Good yeah, because for tens of thousands of years, them damn turtles were too damn stupid <laughs> to get to the damn beach. No, I, no what you mean is for 10,000 years, they made their way back and forth fine. But now, all right. of a sudden, they're all retarded and they don't know how, they don't know their way right. back to the beach. Yeah. They're all Bi- they're all Bidens. They're a bunch they're of all, Bidens. They're all they're all wokesters. Well, well can now, you can now, you comment hey, guys, on that? You don't know if they identify <laughs> turtles or not. They may not That's identify true. as a turtle. <laughs> That's they true. probably identify as Democrats. But anyway, <laughs> the uh, so we 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 have a side by side that we drive up and down the beach for beach patrol and it has a little like a like a truck bed in the back of it. I think slow does yours have a little truck bed it looking does, thing? Yeah. Okay. Is your yeah, wiener assist- reveal? The wiener. No, sit, my, my wiener has assisted dump. Yeah, that's, uh, so so does ours. Uh, so does ours. <laughs> but it, his his, his but side by side is called the Wienermobile, folks. That's oh, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. It's so not, we're we're uh, tooling down through there tonight <clears throat> at uh, seven thirty or so. They uh, a, a damn uh, sandbag, a big six foot long sandbag, gets washed up on the beach overnight. You know, we'll, we'll get all kinds of stuff washed up on the beach every night. Trash. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So it gets washed up on Earth. the beach. Yeah. <laughs> and they, these four women, old older women, I would say oh, probably God. 60 yeah, well, or he 70. Starts oh, older to Rod and... and, oh, and older, uh, older, than, older than me and older, older than, than us. Okay. Yeah. They okay. old. They, they come, they come <laughs> wallowing up carrying this down six foot fucking sandbag. And for folks who can't see him on the on, on, I'm the, on the listening side, <laughs> Looks like he's waddling in the camera. He's going from side to side like he's fat and stuff. Okay, go ahead. So, <laughs> well, well, you said light. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're sitting in there, and they said, "Hold on, hold on, hold on." I turn around and look, see what they're doing. They were throwing this down sandbag in our the back of our side by side. As soon as they toss, serve, hound dog. <clears throat> I guess so. So. But, 
after they got that in there, I turned around just in time to get a face full of sand. Oh, shit. It was kind of ripped open or something? Yes. They, That's they, what you get for checking out the ladies. Oh, damn. And they were the, the face full of sand. I pissed you off. Back, my back covered in fucking sand. Damn. Uh, boy, I was ill. <laughs> and it was probably, is it hot down there today? Yes, it was hotter than hell down there. It means you're sweating. It means it's stuck to you, too. You get stuck. At least you didn't get stuck. Damn. What jurisdiction gives gives the Turtle Patrol their power? Brunswick County. So they have to say so. Now, now, now. They have, if the. I'm going to get in trouble if anybody anything says over this. (laughs) Here's this. But they can do. I'll disguise your voice. Go ahead. Okay. They can do. We'll block you out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. There we go. There you go. <laughs> 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 protection list now. <laughs> From Peter. So, yeah. so here, I, you know, here I am. Damn it! Hold on, I got a drink. I'm pissed off now. <laughs> He's, He's like taking a drink out of his throat. Yeah. That'll do it. Ah. Damn it, man! Now, still, it's God. I'm so fucking mad now. <laughs> <laughs> so these turtle patrol ladies throw it down sand back back here, sand all over me. And I turn around and said, Thanks for covering me up with sand. Did I say, Oh, we're sorry. What did they do? Turn around and walk off. Which <laughs> pissed me off even more. All right. <clears throat> so you know I'm on... even more? Hell no, they went back to their million dollar home on the beach. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I'm on the beach. Your jurisdiction, <clears throat> turtle patrol's jurisdiction. There's a little turtle there, and I flick it out of my way. How much trouble will it get in? You'll be feder- you'll be charged federally. Really, turtle yeah. flicking is, is, that, is that a yeah. charge? Tur- turtles. turtles are federally protected. Every yes. every October, I go to wow. Outer Banks, and we get a permit to go on to the sand, the fish. But every time you go down there, there's certain spots that and you don't know. They change from year to year, you, and time to time. That you can't go here, you can't go there because of the turtles. Yep. Yeah. Hey, and let me segue into this. When I used to, my old house I used to live at, we had those big uh, geese. You know what I'm talking about? The, Canadian the geese. big gray and with the black head with the gray, the yeah. ones Canadian that geese. Canadian hang out geese. in ponds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And those those fuckers used to come up in my yard and chase my little kids and, and, and they fall over. Yeah. They, well, they used to chase the kids. Dude, and I, and I, I looked it up. They're federally protected too, so no. I couldn't oh, yeah. kill them. Yeah. But, boy, I went after him with a shovel a few times in a rake and chased that sucker back into the pond. But, um, yeah, these they're animals that are federally protected. They're, they're migratory birds, so they, they migrate, so they're under well, federal government. They need to migrate over. their ass the fuck out of my uh, pond. Uh, and let me say stage. Let me say stage. And Hound Dog and uh, Double D may, may remember this, but uh, Franklin Square, phase two, these, these Canadian geese built a nest – like it, right up in the curb area, Down near Walmart. right in the middle of the, the the parking lot, yeah. And nobody could touch yeah. the eggs, nobody could bother them. We couldn't mess with yeah. them. They sit there for yeah. a month. And they're right forever. there in the middle of the city, in the middle of a big chop, shopping center. Yeah. And, and, and God forbid Walmart, some old lady, some old lady runs over that fucking nest with the car by accident because she can't see. They probably federally charge her ass. Listen, yeah. animals are not more important than humans, folks. That's it. That's that's the Rod Nader ranting right now. We are more important than animals. Period. And yeah. this planet there, we're on was put there, here there, for us to live. Hit the FBI button slow. They're coming. Hit the FBI button. They're coming for me. FBI, open up. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. All right, oh, oh one more thing. One more thing. Go ahead. Another, another turtle story. I'm working this past Saturday. We got a call to go assist Turtle Patrol. Okay. We go down there and assist Turtle Patrol. You got to get back go. up. <laughs> yeah. They go to... The island has, that I work on is the east and the west side. We'll go to the west side of the island to meet them at nest number whatever it was. We get there. They said, hey, we got this. We got a turtle we're going to release back into the ocean. And uh, Oh, we goody! Want, we, we want to make sure it gets in there, in there okay. One whole turtle. Yeah. I'd so punt I, that thing out. out so the- so turtle soup, motherfucker. I'm thinking, you know, these these turtles, man, the loggerhead turtles can get up to 800 pounds. Well, they're big. They're, you said logger, you they're said freaking logger huge. Head. Yeah. You said logger they're huge. Yeah. They, they're how, huge. How about the, and the, the protectors? Uh, how big they get? About the same. Yeah. And <laughs> Go ahead, Andong. I'm sorry. We but, keep interrupting uh, you. So we, we get out there. 
That, and we're thinking they're going to have this big ass turtle that they're going to, you know, assist yeah. back into the ocean. Yeah. The turtle was probably born the night before. So it, it was, is, it fit in the palm of your hand. No that, shit. That, that big. Why they need your backup? What, 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 you, what well, are you supposed to do? They didn't want to release it where the hatch from. They wanted to take it on the other side of the island, seven miles away, and release it in the ocean. Why? Why? I thought they always turned back to where they nested or where they was born. Their natural habitat. This, this, this one here is going to be so damn woke, it ain't going to know where the hell go. <laughs> a little bit of fish. Yeah, but it was, we had a, uh escort these people from one side of the island with the to turtle. the other. With a with turtle a, in their hand. With a turtle. So they can Jesus release it back into the into the ocean. Yeah, that folks taxpayer taxpayer dollars being See, used. I can picture you know, oh, you know they do like shit. at Lowe's, you know, when they use that machine to get them little orange flags walk behind it in front of it. Yeah. 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 That's about like that's about right. <laughs> that's a good analogy. They didn't realize they were interfering with hound dogs liver most. So <laughs> what does a yeah, turtle no patrol shit. person wear for identification? Do they have a oh. shirt that says Turtle Patrol? Yes. Orange. No, they yeah. don't. Do they have a, like a bright orange vest or something too? No, just no, just a bright orange shirt. Says uh, Turtle Patrol. Oh, bright orange shirt. Okay, because you have to see them. Yeah, and and, and and do they do any type of educational thing? Do they, they come out and give you a little pamphlet telling them who they are they and that sort of thing? They will. They will. And every year we have to uh, sit through their little spiel. You know, if you find a turtle that's coming up on the beach to, to lay some eggs, you got to call us. Don't and oh, you can't shine any kind of light, flashlight, uh, flash from a camera. On a turtle nest because it will fuck them up if they down sea light. Really? No shit. Yeah. Huh, is it kind of like an alligator? You know, if alligator, the temperature determines the sex. The ones that are very deeper, you know, that's cool, I think, are females. The ones that know the top are a little warmer are males. Is it one oh, that really? Works that way with the. Uh, they, they may, I don't know. With turtles. We're getting but, into sex education here, guys. Yeah, but I'm probably going to, you know, be out of a damn. the turtles. Out of a damn job whenever the, uh, the bosses hear this, but. Yeah, I've been out of a job before. <laughs> well, I feel like I need to. Like anybody watches this show or listens to us. I feel like I need to put, pick up the producer's job here. We are an hour and a minute into the podcast. We need to be signing off here. Uh, All right, man. Yeah, you're right. It went quick. It went quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd like to give a uh, shout out to uh, Trump. Way to go, brother. You survived a bullet. Love you, man. And I'm yeah, they going got a coin out now for 10 bucks. I'm going out to the Trump rally tomorrow. I'll be there, Maybe Charlotte, North Carolina. <clears throat> Yeah, and I'll be uh, I'll be looking. Where are you best, brother? I'm going to be a fucking meat shield for him if he needs it. I'm going to be Where there. Where are they having so that? There you at? go. Bojangles Arena. Okay. And that's hey, the old yeah. Coliseum, right? Yes. The old one. Yep. Yep. All right, guys. What do you think about your bourbons? I'm, I'm, I, I would, yeah, a new bourbon on the show. We're going to rate it. I'm going to give this thing up a six. Almost deadly drinker. 117 proof. It's kind of hot for me. And then the uh, very dry finish killed it. Woodford's awesome. It's always awesome. It's a daily drink if you want it. It's just a great. It's a great bourbon. All right, W. Jefferson's. It's solid. It's 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 a, it's a little high. Not bad. Maybe forty five. But but it's, you can find it. It's not really high proof, but it's, it's solid. I would say it's about a seven point five. And on my McKenna ten year, I think we've rated it before in here, but uh, it's been a while. I'll, uh, you know, it's it's got a rye taste to it because it's a little spicy. But I'd give it a, a solid uh, solid seven. I, w- I could drink it every day. Okay, so even though it's a rye, you're not a rye yeah. guy. That's cool. Right. Cool, yep. cool. Yeah, yeah. all right. Deal. Go ahead, slow. Take it away. All right, any shout-outs, man? Anything? Boone's Bourbon. We haven't seen about Boone's Bourbon in a long time. Drink yep. Boone's Bourbon. Drink yep. Boone's Bourbon? Okay. And Dave's TV. Watch Dave's, Dave's TV. TV. Dave's TV. Um, Atchison yeah. Poultry. Atchison Poultry. Boom. Yep. Hey, Mike, what's up, brother? Hope you're listening. What's up, Mike? Make I it- like... I like chickens too. <laughs> make make yeah, a comment. Send us, send us a case of eggs, man. Come on. Comment on this shit. <laughs> I mean, plugs we get for you, we get case of eggs out of this. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to, um, there's a lot of people, but the people who are on Trump's detail now, they have to be, you I mean, you know, we've all done kind of like some sort of semi kind of dignitary stuff, whether it's a procession or whatever. But with everything going on, with everything that's happened, those boys mm-hmm. have to, and girls have to be on their A game. Lock on the right, baby. Bullet shield, they match to do whatever. 
But the ones Lock that just the crew, they know that. Yeah. They hey, we got Secret Service. Our friends of this show, they're dear friends of ours, man. We love them, and, and oh, I hope yeah. they're not going through a whole bunch yeah. of crap or shit oh, over yeah. all this exactly. stuff. Cause yeah. good dudes, top of their game, and they should. Yeah. They're where they so, should be. Absolutely. The leadership absolutely. never represents. The, the, the rank and file. The rank and file right. do their See, that's shit. See, we always said about captains. Fuck we always said that about captains. No, above captains. It's always the majors <laughs> and above. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> the real administration. Hey, and everybody, go. remember, let's drink about it and drink responsibly. And all you first responders out there, please go home to your families. Cheers. Hey, Double D, what, is it, what has this been? See if you know your game. Studio, what, what studio? Mean? What studio? Ah, there he goes. Did you say 57? He said yeah. 77. 66, 43, <laughs> whatever, man. Hi. Hey, this has been a Studio 77 for Doug. <laughs> Where'd he go? He gone. He gone. Did you yeah, we're still recording. Record. Hey, still, this is perfect, we're, man. We're, we're still literally recording. <laughs> this Folks, is perfect. Slow ride went. The folks right just gone. <laughs> <laughs> we're well, still I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, we're still working.